Hey guys, so I'll be unboxing this video. Um, I did post at the same time as this one, my mother unboxing this exact album. Um, since I did have two, the one I have is still sealed, but I will show the photo card from the other version, that uh, the one my mother unboxed, but <laughs> I always said, she always did say if I got a BTS item that she would unbox it to show her support for me doing this channel and everything like that. Um, but <laughs> feel free to check that out, but do be nice if you're going to leave comments. My <laughs> mom really <laughs> had no idea what she was really doing, but uh, she was nervous afterwards. She thought the whole army was going to come for her um, for some of the comments that she made, but I told her it's fine. She has every right to have an opinion. Ugh, so much plastic everywhere but one of the first things you do get is a nice photo stand so it looks like I got these from yes Asia but it looks like they're actually ordering them from the Weverse shop which is kind of like the big hit store they just call it Weverse so I've actually been going to the Weverse shop to order quite a few of my BTS items now so you would just fold this and this would be your stand do you hold it? I just don't want to bend it because I've already done it to the other one. <laughs> and then here we have the actual binder, which I love that they've been styling these as a binder. This one's got a little crunchied up here at the top. But in regards to subtitles, we have Korean, English, and Chinese. So, of course, the beautiful magnetic style. I have sort of seen this because I was <laughs> helping my mom on the sidelines when she was unboxing hers. So, tried to wait a little bit before opening, doing the unboxing myself. But here we have a nice accordion book. It is perforated, so if you did want to tear it and frame one of the photos or just stick it on the wall or anything like that, you're more than able to. Alright, and then we have a special memories book. Oh, looks like here we have Jimin for our photo card. Jin was the other one. Let me grab that. Where did I set you, Jin? Ah, oh, there you are. And Jin was the other one, so it's cute. They're kind of holding little roses. So glad I didn't get any duplicate there. So it's nice to see like probably all the different concerts and yep, Bangkok and the little signs that fans make when they come. <laughs> Ooh, that all pink outfit. BTS looking like the Beatles. Or at least it's styled like the Beatles. But they pretty much, I would say, are the Beatles of this generation. Because from how my parents described how the Beatles were, yeah, it sounds the same. <laughs> how crazy the fans are and... Everything like that. The great music. I remember we actually did a, in, when I was in high school, we did a band concert called the 
magical mystery tour and all we did was Beatles songs. Oh, so that's cute. Little special memories book. Okay, so these pages are thicker. I always feel like it needs to fold out. But here we have basically, let's see, table of contents. So this is looks like pretty much their schedule, maybe, for the whole year. What's nice? Looks like they got a three month vacay. <laughs> Um, one in March, but I mean they were probably definitely working in between here releasing albums. This kind of just looks more like concerts and award shows that they went to, but they probably jam-packed album releases of course in here as well as probably other side projects. But look how busy they were. These huge chunks. Concerts and everything. Ooh. All right. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh, it makes me laugh because <laughs> I think my mom likes V might be her bias because every time she wanted to talk about it, she's always looking at me like, what's his name again? I was like, ah, it's V. <laughs> but she always liked talking about V. Oh, which is funny. She knows RM quite well, but she always calls she always calls him the one who speaks English because <laughs> she only really sees them and watches them when they're on like the Today Show or you know when they were on Ellen things like that. But I uh, just found it funny. So these I 100% recognize because they are like the puzzles that I built. Ugh. Those were so difficult at times. <laughs> mm. I love this because it's like our behind the scenes of their whole year. I still hope they do a huge photo book item thing like they did for the Wings trilogy. I hope they do something like that for the Love Yourself set. Like, trilogy moment. Mm. This is such a beautiful set. <laughs> They're close. This kind of reminds me of a TikTok video I saw because everyone kept talking about TikTok and I see it all the time so I was like oh let me check it out. There's this video where it's like America or normal people versus army 
and it was like your president and it's a picture of Donald Trump and then it's like our president and it's our M and then it was like you're worldwide handsome and it was Chris Hemingsworth the guy who plays Thor and then it was like ours and it was Jen I loved it it kept going on like the cat was um, Shuga which I thought was hysterical because I named my cat Shuga and then the bunny was JK and Sunshine was J-Hope, of course. And then, what was Jim Min? Can't remember what Jim Min's was. But I just thought it was cute and funny. Oh, a tiger was V. I'm trying to picture it in my head. Aww. They are such like a family and I just live for it. And I know a bunch of people right now are rumoring that RM's married because he did this ring change thing in a video. But I mean, if he is or he isn't, whatever. Happy to him if he is. Congrats. But if not, it doesn't matter. I mean, they have every right to be happy and, you know, make families themselves. that tiger. Oh, one thing I loved was their, um, the car karaoke. Oh my gosh. Is that the best? Oh, Jimin being mochi. Papa mochi. Oh, that was just too funny. some freckles. Ooh, I love this. Oh, and I loved the episode uh, when BTS went on island. I'm about an episode or two behind because it just hurts my heart watching them get eliminated because usually I've always waited till the shows were done and the group was already decided. Ugh, but this one I've been following and the, ugh, it's been shattering my heart. But I have been voting. I have been voting. Because <sighs> there's four members I for sure want to debut. And then some of them have been growing on me. Like Jay, honestly I didn't really... No, like, I want to say I didn't like him. I just didn't catch my attention. But he's been growing on me. I've been, I've been really enjoying him. So he's getting added on to my debut seven. Mmm. <laughs> Sugar. It's so nice to kind of see them throughout the year too. Especially all the hair color changes and just their aesthetic changes. Ooh, really like these. Ooh, look at that. It looks like it's raining. It's probably some sparkly stringy things, but... One thing I'd love to see is like a BTS 
like a BTS shot photo book, like photos that they all took themselves. Because I always see like behind the scenes things of like JK with a photo with a camera in his hand taking photos or one of the members. So I think it'd be really cool to kind of see how they see each other from like their perspective or just like a photo book in general. Get some of the paper that was punched. Okay. Ah, look at them all snazzy for Christmas. Whenever I see V making his funny faces and all those, because he's just, oof, that looks nice. Because he just, like, doesn't have, a, he, like, clearly just doesn't care. He's just like, whatever. It makes me think of the question, because BTS did, like, a little mini, like, advice kind of little thing on Island. And Jay's was, like, <laughs> all about <laughs> how he just looks so funny and... Uh, I can't think of the term that he actually said, but it makes me think of V, because V's always just doing funny things and making weird faces and not having to care. And it's just so relatable and nice. But down here on the CDs, it does tell you what's on each disc. And there's a lot of behind the scenes on disc three. It looks like we got six discs, but there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Again, feel free to also watch my mother unbox it. She makes some comments that I couldn't even relate to because <laughs> some things she talked about was when she was a little girl. But if you do, do, like I said, be nice in the comments. It was her first unboxing. She's definitely nervous like I was. But I love these behind the scenes memories things. A++ and the packaging. Always love the binder style. But I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Like, subscribe, and share if you want. And until our next one. Bye guys.